Hi, I'm Jeffrey Smith at the Institute for Responsible Technology. And after a careful study and analysis, we've discovered when the advocates of GMOs, genetically modified foods, are lying. It's when their lips are moving. We see what's happening in Washington when they're trying to get people to vote against genetically engineered labeling, against I-522. It's the same story. They've been lying for decades, and they're really good at it. In fact, they lied in California, winning Prop 37, stopping Prop 37 from requiring labeling in California. Now the Californians who realize that they've been duped, they're deeply regretful, even ashamed at being convinced by the disinformation campaign. For example, both in Washington and in California, the biotech industry claims that if you label genetically engineered foods, you're going to pay hundreds of dollars more. That's ridiculous. First of all, the same companies that removed GMOs in Europe years ago are selling GMOs here. When they got rid of GMOs there, they didn't raise prices. In fact, there are 64 countries that either ban GMOs outright or require labeling. And we have no evidence that any, any foods increased their prices when they were required to label it as genetically modified. If you are one of the unfortunate Washington voters that received the disinformation propaganda from the against I-522 team that said, oh, there's all these terrible exemptions. Here's where they're trying to lie. First of all, you should know that there's no law against lying in a political campaign. So none of this is illegal. So if you open the, the mailer, it says, oh, here's an exemption. You'll have to label the chicken in chicken pot pie, but not if you buy a whole chicken. So they're getting you to think, right, that the chicken in the chicken pot pie would be labeled. That's not true. The chicken is never labeled because the chicken is not genetically engineered. It's the soy and the corn in the chicken pot pie that is genetically engineered. And that's why that would be labeled. The chicken is not labeled in either case. They said the pet food, the beef in the pet food would be labeled, but not the beef you buy at the butcher counter in the supermarket. That's a lie. They're trying to distract. The beef is never labeled. It's the soy and corn in the can. But let's go a step further. Pet food is exempt in I-522, so it's a double lie. This is what they're doing. They know the truth, and they're trying to distort the evidence to confuse you. They confused a lot of Californians, and they're angry because they realized that they were being duped. Hopefully, in Washington, we won't actually see that problem. It turns out there's a lot of Washington businesses that would actually benefit from the passage of labeling of genetically engineered foods. For example, the apple industry, the salmon industry, the wheat industry, all are threatened if there's unlabeled, unsegregated GMOs. They're threatened with the closure of export markets and the closure of markets even in the United States where more and more people are requiring non-GMO foods. So vote for I-522 and give yourself a choice to buy healthier non-GMO foods. Thousands of doctors are now prescribing non-GMO foods to their patients. Millions are seeking non-GMO foods. Nine out of 10 Americans want GMOs labeled, and now, for the first time, we have the opportunity to give Americans what they're looking for, at least the people in Washington. So again, please don't believe the lies from the same companies that told us that Agent Orange and PCBs and DDT were safe and got it wrong. Please, vote for mandatory labeling of genetically engineered foods so you can have a choice. Yes on I-522. Safe eating.